Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about C program to copy the contents from one file to other file. This is very very important program in C language. Now we can go the we can go to the program. Hash include stdio.h so this is the header file hash include conio.h void main First of all, we have to create two file pointers. The first file pointer pointing to the input.c file. The second file pointer fp2 points to the output file. Okay. So file pointer fp1, comma pointer fp2 where fp1 and fp2 are two file pointers fp1 pointing to the input.c file fp2 pointing to the output.c file okay char ch first we have to open two files the first file input.c file can open in read mode the second file output.c can be open in write mode so fp1 is equal to f open file name is input.c this file input.c can be opened in read mode. Next, the second file can be opened in write mode. fp2 is equal to f open. File name is output.c file. This can be opened in write mode. Okay, so here this is the input.c file, this is the output.c file. The input.c file can contain the data hi everyone. This data can be copied from input.c and write into output.c file. Here we are copying the data from input.c file to output.c file character by character okay so ch is equal to f get c of fp1 so it means to read the character from a given file we have to use a function called f get c function okay by using this function we are copying the data from the file pointed by fp1 okay so fp1 pointing to the input.c file we have to read the data within the input.c file character by character okay so whatever the data read from the input.c file that data can be sent to the variable on the left hand side that is ch okay now we have to check why ch not equal to eof here we have to check whether the character that is read from the input.c file is end of file or not eof means end of file or not okay 
the given character is not a end of file then we have to write that character into output.c file pointed by file pointer fp2 okay next one incrementing the file pointer so that is ch is equal to f get c of fp1 so this line is used for incrementing the file pointer in input.c file that is pointed by fp1 next printf file is copied successfully file is copied successfully once the content is copied from input.c file to output.c file we have to close the file first open file is input.c file so that is pointed by fp1 first we have to close the fp1 file f close of fp1 next we have to close to this file so f close of fp2 f close of fp2 next one so get ch next we are close the program okay so this is the simple program to copy the content from one file to other file okay so in this one we have to first we are creating two file pointers fp1 and fp2 fp1 is a file pointer pointing to the input.c file fp2 is a file pointer pointing to the output.c file okay these two file pointers of type is file structure this file structure can be there in hash include stdio.h okay next one here we have to read the data from input.c file character by character so that we have to create one variable that is a ch its data type is character okay now we want to read the information within the input.c file after reading that information is right into the output.c file so that we have to read the information within the input.c file so that this file can be opened in read mode okay by using f open function so fp1 is equal to f open this is the file name that is input.c comma read mode so this file input.c can be opened by using f open function in read mode this is the mode read mode okay so this input.c file pointed by fp1 pointer next one so whatever the information within the uh, input.c file that information can be write into the output.c file so that this file can be opened in write mode by using f open function so therefore fp2 is equal to f open this is the file name output.c that can be opened in write mode okay now we are reading the uh, information or our data from the input.c file character by character okay so to read the character from the given input file that is input.c we have to use a function called f get c function okay so by using this function we have to read the data character by character from the input.c file pointed by fp1 okay so what is the data is that in input.c file hi everyone okay 
So first we have to read the character H. Okay. So that after reading the character from input.c file pointed by fp1, that character can be assigned to variable ch. Okay. Now we have to check ch not equal to eof or not. Yes, h is not a end of end of file character. So that h not equal to eof. Okay, condition true. If the condition is true, the control goes to the body of the while loop. So f put c ch comma fp2. Whatever the character that is read from the input.c file, that character is there in ch. That character is write into the fp2 uh, output.c file that is pointed by fp2. So using f put c function. So the letter H is printed here. The letter H is printed here. Okay. So by using f put c function, we have to write the character into the output.c file pointed by fp2. Okay. After writing the letter H into output.c file, so file pointer can be incremented. So this line is used for incrementing the file pointer from H to A. Okay. Now again we have to check. Again we have to read next character from input.c file by using f get c function. So A is read from input.c file. That letter is assigned to the variable ch. Okay. Now we have to check whether the character that is stored in ch is end of file or not. So a is not a end of file. So that condition is true. The control goes to the body of the while loop. So in the ch character a is there. That a is write into the output.c file pointed by fp2 by using f put c function. So that here a is written into output.c file. Again, the file pointer is incremented from A to I. Okay. Now, again, the control goes to this line. Okay. So, here, uh, next letter I is read from the input.c file pointed by fp1. That letter is assigned to the variable ch. So we have to check whether the, the, whether the character assigned to the variable ch is end of file or not. So i is not uh, end of file. So because there are remaining characters are there in the file. So if the condition is true, whatever the character that is stored in ch that can be assigned, that can be written into the output.c file pointed by fp2 by using f put c function. So here i is right into the output.c file. Okay. Next one is, next the file pointer is incremented. So here from i to this space. Okay. So space is read from the input.c file pointed by fp1. So that space is assigned to the variable ch. So space is not equal to eof because the remaining characters are there in the uh, input.c file. So that space is written into the output.c file pointed by fp2. So then the space is printed. Next the file pointer is incremented. So the file pointer goes to this one. Okay. So in this way, so all the characters are, uh, re all the characters are right. Hi, every one. Okay. Next, after uh, after copying E, after copying E, last character E, next again file pointer is incremented. So next one is last one space. Okay. So that space is read from the input.c file pointed by fp1 that can be assigned to the ch. Okay. Now check ch not equal to eof or not. So after e, so there are no characters are there that indicates that end of the file. Okay. So here this condition is false. 
Okay, whenever this condition is false, the control goes to the next statement after the while loop. After while loop, this one is file is copied successfully. So up to now, whatever the information or data within the input.c file, that can be copied into output.c file. Okay, once the copying operation is completed, so first, the open file is input.c file. First, we have to close this file by using fclose function fclose of fp1. Whatever the first file that is open, first, after completing the copying operation, we have to close to this file. Next, we have to close the second file. So, that is fp2. Okay. Once we are closing the files, so the program is terminated. So, the information within the input.c file is high, everyone. The total data or information within the input.c file is copied into output.c file. Okay. Once the copying operation is completed, we have to close the input.c file pointed by fp1. Pointed by fp1. After that, we have to close the output.c file pointed by fp2. So, fp1 pointing to the input.c file, fp2 pointing to the output.c file. So, this is the program. So, output input.c file contains high everyone and output.c contains the same information after copying from input.c file to output.c file. So, this is the simple program and it is very, very important program. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. And if you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So, Divella Srinivasarao. Please subscribe my channel name for future updates and click on the bell button also. Thank you.